friends. It is a crazy, crazy existence here at Casa de Clausen. Take two. Okay, let's get to it. Well, it's a crazy existence here at Casa de Clausen, as referenced by the breastfeeding covered up baby in my arms. So we got to strike when the iron's hot and it's hot right now. So we got to get this done. I wanted to quickly show you what I am doing for a postpartum workout when I'm stuck in the house. It's still way too hot in Las Vegas to bring baby outside and do workouts. So what I've been doing is before I had a little man, I heard a whole bunch of mamas saying, you're not going to be able to shower when you have him. You'll be lucky if you shower once a week. And I'm like, oh, like that's where I said it on videos before. That's where I draw the line because I need to shower at least once a day. And I have. However, sometimes it's not until Adam comes home, which is 6, 630 at night. And then we have to eat and then clean up and all of that stuff. So it could be kind of late at night and I feel kind of stinky. So this is really cool. This part of the video is sponsored by Dossier. They are a company in New York that does perfume. Iconic scents, designer luxury, no markups. I love this. The scent that I got was a scent that I've been wearing for many, many years, which is Chanel Chance, the purple pink one. This is their floral grapefruit scent and it's inspired by Chanel Chance, which is over $100, I think like $125 for that big circle bottle. All of their products, I believe, are $25. It's an exact replica to me. It's an exact re exact replica of that scent. It smells really good. It lasts all day. I could do exactly what I did today. I got up. I had to feed him. I had to pump. I had to feed him and pump again. Then somehow figure out how to make my breakfast while he was in between and entertaining himself. He's not been napping recently, but that's okay because he's been sleeping through the night. So I will give and take that one completely. Anyway, so now I have to run errands. I just did a quick workout and I've not showered yet and I probably won't shower until Adam comes home. I will get there, I promise, but I can smell good by spraying this on and I don't have to worry about spending $125 on a designer scent when I'm spending that money on diapers now and sometimes formula. Check them out. It smells really good. This is my scent. It's been my scent for years. You guys asked me in a Q&A before what my favorite go-to Holy Grail perfume was, Chanel Chance, and it's the pink bottle. And this is the exact, in my opinion, it smells exactly like it. So check them out. I'll put all the information and any discount codes they give me in the description box below. Ah, so good. Now back to the workout. On Saturday and Sunday when Adam's home, I've been either going out with him and he'll walk with the baby, with the fan, and we'll do something together. For example, we have a block around our complex that is a mile full way around. So we had the baby in the stroller early in the morning, so it was only 80 something degrees. My pediatrician, my new pediatrician that we love, said that as long as it's in the 90s, like mid nineties is the hottest we could take out the baby and keep him in the shade, not in the sun. So it was a glow eighties that morning, We're just getting to the fall. I've never wished summer away before in my whole entire life until this year, because I'm just dying to take him outside for walks and to go outside and exercise and use the jogger stroller that my cousin gifted me and all of that. So Saturdays and Sundays, we will do something outside. We went around the block and every light pole I did three to six burpees, I petered out kind of fast and I have to listen to my postpartum body and I have to honor this phase where my abs are still, I don't think that they're separated, but they're still very, very weak, very, they feel almost bruised from pushing him out. I was cleared at six weeks by my doctor to do anything and everything that I wanted to, no limitations anymore. That said, that's kind of blanket. I tried the following day. So I was literally six weeks and one day postpartum and I had to stop. I felt like my abs were ripping. I felt super weak. I tried to do a push up from my knees. I couldn't even do it. I was falling down. I was getting in my head. And you can't. Your body has been through the most challenging, physical, most demanding workout that you've been through for nine months while creating a human life. And then the most, I don't want to say traumatic because well, I will say traumatic, but not in the way of where it was 
traumatic and there's PTSD or anything like that. I had a very easy labor and delivery, but there's trauma to your body and your organs and the areas where either you pushed the baby out or you had a C-section and you were cut open. So you have to honor this phase and I need to, <laughs> I need to listen to my own advice. I just went very light and then I'm just kind of progressing. So today I did a workout inside because Saturday and Sunday I'll go with Adam. We'll do whatever we decide that we are capable of within the limitations of baby being out in the heat and also my postpartum body and Adam's really good. Like he'll go out for a run and he'll lift weights while baby and I are still in bed sleeping early, early in the morning. And then when we get up, we'll do our workout and he'll do something with us. Then we'll usually wind up at the pool one at a time taking, doing laps while the other one stays with baby in the shade because I read somewhere that you should wait until at least six months to take baby in the chlorine because evidently the chlorine, if they're too young and their lungs can lead to asthma, whether that's true or not, I have no idea. I did not ask the doctor. I have asthma. There's asthma in my family. So I don't want to expose his precious lungs. Genetically, there are some issues to anything that could potentially cause asthma. I know how difficult it is to not be able to breathe when you're having an asthma attack, especially as a child. I was diagnosed at six months. Okay, I'm totally rambling. So on the days, the weekdays, when Adam's at work and I'm home alone with baby and we can't go outside, what I will do is something in the house. I've been really, I don't wanna say lazy, it's just been difficult with trying to increase my milk supply. I'm trying to breastfeed as much as possible, pump as much as possible. So we'll wake up somewhere between seven and nine in the morning. This morning he slept until 9.30, which was great. We both needed it. But I'll get up, I'll feed him, usually 15 minutes on each side, and then I'll pump for 15 minutes. So there's a half an hour shot. Then I have to change him and you guys know all that stuff. But by the time I'm done with that session, he's hungry again. So I'm feeding him again. And I am supplementing with donor milk. I can make a whole video about how I got the donor milk and my thoughts on donor milk versus formula. And if you think it's gross or not, obviously I don't because I'm using it, but we can talk about that. If you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments. So it really has been not happening more than happening recently, but I just feel like I need to move my body in order to feel like I'm healing as best as possible. I feel like I need to get my immune system back in check. And I feel like I've been really bloated recently and I still have my postpartum body and that's okay. I'm not rushing to get back to the body I had before. This is more for health and wellness, immunity, and also mental health. And for me, moving my body and working out plays a huge factor in my mental health. I've just worked out for so long. I've been an athlete for so long. It's just part of it. So what I did today is something I want to pass along to you. You barely need any equipment. You actually don't need any equipment at all. All I used equipment wise was a pull-up bar that we got, I think at Target for $25 that goes in a door frame. But if you don't have that, you could substitute with a different kind of pull. You can put a sheet in a door, you could use resistance bands, you can find anything. I used to do this with a towel on my deck, strung through one of the rungs of the deck. Anything that you can pull on, I've done it on the bottom of the coffee table. Don't limit yourself to not being able to do this if you wanna try this because you don't have a pull-up bar, or you could even just leave that out and do the other two exercises, which were pull-ups. Personally, I have to do them for my knees right now. My abs are not strong enough yet to do them for my feet. At one point in quarantine, Adam and I, when he was still long distance, used to do 100 push-ups, 100 pull-ups, or towel pulls is what I was doing, and 100 squats. I think he got up to like 200 and I got up to 120. Oh, we also did mountain climbers and we did was the other thing some sort of a sit-up or something that I can't do right now but during quarantine so I want to get back there I'm not rushing myself to get there but those were from my feet right now I can only do push-ups from my knees because it's too much on my abs to get in that plank position I'm not trying to separate my abs any further or anything like that I just need to let them heal so we did push-ups for my knees for 20 seconds I had 10 seconds to transition to the next exercise. So this is called Tabata style. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four rounds. We did this twice. So 20 seconds of push-ups for my knees, transition to the next exercise, which for me was just walk over to the pull-up bar. 20 seconds of jumping chin-ups. So I was at, before baby, before pregnancy period, I was at six to eight chins unassisted 
but now I'm backwards. I have a lot more weight on me, my body fat's higher, and my abs are separated, and I'm just overall weaker. So I'm doing, I think I was trying to get about five jumping pull-ups. So you just jump, grab the pull-up bar, and pull yourself up as much as possible. Take your time, reset in between, that's fine. And then the last exercise was squats. Body weight, just squats. Baby was in his little lounger. I had on some baby Mozart on YouTube on the TV so he could listen to that. He was okay. And then I've not filmed this yet because we're not there yet because baby's nursing. But once he does tummy time, I do my pelvic floor and my core exercises because my pelvic floor is completely shot. I tried to do workout with jumping rope the other day, had issues. I don't even know how to say it without sounding disgusting. I literally walked inside. I almost said looking like I peed my pants, but clearly I did. But it was like little gushes every once in a while and to the point where I had a puddle. And I came inside and I've been laughing with Adam about it. Like, oh my God, I keep peeing my pants when I sneeze or when I run or when I jump. But this time it hit harder because I'm like, am I ever gonna be able to take a workout class again? Am I ever gonna be able to run? Am I ever gonna be able to jump rope? I was really good at double unders. So I was like, I, he kept the baby on Tuesday night. He had a meeting at six, so I had dinner ready. We were gonna eat when the meeting was done. I left him the baby, I left him a bottle. He's so good with him. I went outside to work out. I was back in like 10 minutes and he's like, you're done already. And I was like, I keep peeing myself. And he was like, haha, like laughing because we keep making a joke out of it. And I was, you know, postpartum, postpartum hormones. I was like, it's not funny. It's terrible. I'm never gonna be able to take a CrossFit class again. So I have to take matters into my own hands. I could be the victim and cry about it, or I could try to fix it. We're gonna try to fix it because you know there ain't no victims in the Clawson household or we wouldn't be here or he wouldn't be here. So while he does tummy time, I will do bird dogs, which is just when you go on all fours, you have opposite arm and opposite leg and you extend them. I'll do bird dogs. I will do hamstring glute bridges and I'll really try to do some Kegels while I'm doing that. And then sometimes I will just stretch out when I'm in a hamstring pose, I will hamstring pose, hamstring bridge. I will stretch out one leg and just kind of bring it in and just use those ab muscles. And that's it, just very, very light pelvic floor Kegel type of strengthening exercises to try to get that back in shape. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else to help it. I've been doing some research. It's Kegels, 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 which I think, I don't know, I feel like they're disgusting and I've always hated them. My sister's like, me too, but 15 years and three kids later, I still pee myself. So you have the option. And I'm like, all right, yeah. I guess I have to, because I need to get back to jumping and running and all of the stuff that keeps me fit and healthy, both physically and mentally. Okay, I've babbled enough. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna continue to do this. And I think what I'm gonna do, if you want me to do a follow-up video, but I think starting tomorrow, since today, I just kind of wanted to ease into it. By the way, he's eight weeks exactly yesterday. So I want to count my reps and I will just count them all straight through. Ow. He does this thing where he stays on my nipple and he like thrashes around and it hurts so bad. And let's say it's a hundred reps total. I'm kind of giving it to myself, but let's just say. Then the next time I will try to get to 101, I'll just try to beat my reps and then go for as long as I can until I get to a point where I feel good. And then I'll try to start adding in like sets around him around when he needs me around his naps and all of that fun stuff okay baby needs me he's killing me i'm gonna do a whole video about our breastfeeding journey and how i increase my milk supply if i get it to increase it's been a struggle i love you guys so much give me a thumbs up it just helps us out so much in youtube i would show you this cute little face i'll put a picture of this cute little face because he's a little busy right now but subscribe and thumbs up for that little face let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. Whatever you guys want, I got you. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.